I lied. No one's here. I am. Um, I thought it was. I'm so close to finishing this. I just want to finish it. Like, I literally am so close. That's all I have left. That's all I have left. Okay. So, I'm at my aunt's in BC. We watch Princess Diaries. We watched, we rented Prince and Me, Confessions of Teenage Drama Girl. Went to watch 13 and Secret. I need to watch 13 and Secret Window. I don't know, had a nervous breakdown and was hospitalized for a night. Jamie installed a new lock on our door. Kate's been sneaking in and taking things. Hmm. <laughs> Went to Victoria with Megan and Aunt Kathleen and saw the acting school that my cousin wanted to go to. We saw Uncle Grant and his wife. It's a little sad I didn't get to, oh no, Uncle Grant. His wife is away, so I didn't get to see her. Went to the fair with my cousin. My cousin is only in elementary school at this point time. My cousin has a really low self-esteem. Yeah, she was really struggling when I was there. Overall, it was a great vacation. I bought a book of Max Licato. It was amazing. Every young woman's battle, which has touched me both now and back at school. And I've decided my goal this year is to fully, fully concentrate on God. I want to build an intimate relationship with him. And I decided to enter a courting relationship with my Lord and Savior. <laughs> Funny I say this. And then within a few months, six months, I meet a boy. Mm. So funny. I failed my English again exam. It's not so good. Concentrating on you and nothing else. September. Today I had marriage and family and we got to have a 20 minute break. I think it's going to be a pretty good class. I had to speak out loud today, which sucked because my voice is practically gone. The screw of my glasses fell off. <laughs> I'm back in at home. Today has been a good day and sad. I thought of Grandma a lot. I miss her and I wish she was still here. Everyone keeps saying how proud of her of me she would be. Grandpa said she was really proud of me. It's the first time my God has ever said that to me and he really meant it. I only wish I heard it sooner. I wonder if it's the only time I will hear it. I hope not. I hope Grandma will be watching me from heaven. I visit the grave today. Miss Margaret said Grandma would be Huh? would be proud. It bothered me to hear her refer to her. I saw her and Grandma. I saw her and Grandpa kiss the other day, and that bothered me too. I didn't want it to bother me, but it does. Grandma should still be here to see my graduation meet my fiance someday and get married all things margaret will get to see grandma's grandpa is grandma is gone and another one takes her place <laughs> margaret is a good woman and i like her i do it just hurts 
Please take the hurt away that is so deeply lying within. Um, and to church. A lot has happened. Oh gosh, my roommate told someone I should, she should ask me out on a date. I don't want him to ask me anything because I'm not sure how to answer. I'm very stressed about money. Um, meeting with my mentor, Mrs. Mitchell, and I really like her. Doing some devotions. Looking for someone to spend the rest of my life with, but trying to be filled by God instead. I wrote a note to the church saying that I need help with money. OSAP. I had to deal with OSAP. That was always a pain. I didn't get a room hour except supervisor job, so that's not good. I hope church work comes through so I don't have to pick up more shift. I got switched to grade three Betty Ennis's class. He said I will bounce from grade three to two and at some point be in grade one as well and I can get a primary effect, which is great. He says he's confident so we do quite well within this. I have a meeting with Jacqueline tomorrow at four about truck of graduation. I found out if women mentoring women will classify as humanistic selectives, which I hope that classes are offered next semester, then I can take to make sure that all my requirements are met. I have a meeting with Miss en Miss Ennis on Friday at three thirty, which will be nice talking about everything, hopefully. Went to Jen's last weekend. I think she's getting slightly more spiritual, which is very good. <laughs> My friend broke up with her work boyfriend. Oh, I'm trying to apply for teacher's college. Or see if there's any teaching jobs. Talking to my friend's boyfriend. That's so weird. Um, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Um. I don't even know who I was talking to today. Didn't even go to class. My first, I skipped. I just didn't feel like going, which I knew was very bad attitude. Anyway, it's been quite a while since I last wrote 20 days. That's weird. How am I so dependent on this journal writing things anymore? I guess life is slightly easier, but I think it's more to do with relying on you more, Father. You have become more strength and refuge. I only wish things were different and that I could make you totally involved in my life. I wish you could somehow swallow me and make me do only your choice. To make my desires your desires. I got a message from Jay, but I didn't message him back. I miss talking to him, but I'm thankful for not being spiritual, for not 
because spiritually we fell into this unhealthy relationship he needs to needs to bounce his ideas off boys and and not girls please keep helping me get over him I haven't talked to her in all my week and it feels homesick. Help me get my schoolwork done and focus. I'm so cons discouraged at the moment I want to cry, scream. I have a knot to my stomach. Not peace, and I hate it. Why do I feel a little peace when there is none? I wish I could just escape and go to heaven with you now, this minute, and leave the world behind. Why do I feel this way? Father, you've given me this incredible church family who have done nothing but praise and love, yet they are frustrating me in the recognition they do nothing to help my mom. But most of all, I've asked them to please help me to make rent and I got an email from Bev saying people in the congregation are nervous about giving because they won't get a tax receipt. They'll give to Heather and Aurora because they are at Sally Ann School but not me because I'm not at Sally Ann School and they won't get Sally Ann tax benefit. What a load of crock is that? They shouldn't give only to receive some of it back. I'm doing your will. Why can't they see that? So many roadblocks yet hope for continue at the same time oh father please have mercy as a undeserving sinner please help me make rent hmm. so i've had quite a bad spirit that comes nothing from you father and i'm sorry for that i've been bitter stressed and not great to be around I feel like my church doesn't give me any support. Hmm. Hmm. I know I need to work harder on being your daughter because that is who I am first and foremost. What exactly does that entail? How do I let you be my father completely? Help me allow you to fulfill that role in me. I want our role to be back to the proper place because there's the only way I, that's the only way I can survive. You've been so gracious and kind from the beginning. I know so much more work needs to be done. I see my faults every day. I am working on changing them. Sometimes I think so. Other times I am not so sure. So many stand out in my mind. Why and how can you love me? I am. I have destroyed my life with subtle views and lack the wisdom and revelation of your ways. Jeez. I was really hard on myself. Like, really hard on myself. Why? Like, really hard on myself. <laughs> I feel a little overwhelmed and behind in my memorization. <laughs> my brother turned 18. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Teach me to die to self, to live my life and gain it in you. I just finished a powerful, disturbing novel. <laughs> I saw some glimpses of your love spoken just to me, and it felt incredible. I'm so selfish. I hold so much back from you, thoughts, emotions, and you have the best, and it's all upon me, and I might give it back to you for you to fully bless me in it. Oh, Father, I'm so ungrateful and loving child who is not fit to be your bridegroom that you still 
long to have me. It will always be a mystery, I guess. Please help me, Father, die to self. Rip my body apart piece by piece. Tear into my skin and dig out all that is not of you. Replace my torn parts and deadly poison with your life. Tonight I pledge my life and my thoughts to you that may give you glory. Speak to me that I might hear your word, voice. Thank you for all that you've shown me tonight and through the years of BBC. What happened today with my friend? Don't even know. Oh, that's the end. Okay, I was just talking about um somebody that I used a nanny for. Um but it doesn't really have anything to do with me, so I'm not going to share what was written there. Anyways, the girl from, uh, and this journal on, on a letter from a girl she wrote in the bottom of my diary um, that I worked with in Banff. Uh, and English was her second language because she's from Quebec. Hi, Crystal. You're a wonderful person. The better thing happened to me the better thing that happened to me this trip is you. I'll always remember you like the most wonderful girl ever. You make me feel happy many times and you and you taught me many words. Thank thank for your happiness every day. I hope you hope you all you want in your new life. What's just beginning. Even if you had a bad life before you seemed like you found your way. I hope your God will take care of you. The last thing that I hope you is to find a job and a boyfriend who shares the same values than you. Have a lot of children in a big house. You are the person who is the better mom ever. Sorry for my mistakes. I'm just trying to be an English girl. Made in Quebec. Sophie, I'll always love you. Finally, that is the end of this one. And the next one... Is going to be hard for me to read. But this one is done. I, yeah. I never realized, yeah. <laughs> I have actually, yeah. It's crazy. It's just, it's all really, 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 really crazy to me. How, like, upsetting I was. I was so upset. And I didn't give myself any grace. Any grace whatsoever, but. It just goes to show that you can be surrounded in that atmosphere and still feel so displaced. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the end. I need to go and clean my house. I need to vacuum. I need to unload the dishwasher. I need to clean up the kitchen. I need to do the bathroom. I need to shower. I need to shave and I need to get ready. And I only have an hour and a half. So I got to get moving.